back now for chapter 7 of the Gospel according to Mark. I, um, I'm going to confess that I don't know how much further I can read. But my eyes tend to bounce in and out, and when they do, I can't see the words. Chapter 7 Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of the uh, some of the disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashing hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands off, eat not holding the tradition of the elders. And when they come from the market, except they wash, they eat not, and many other things there be which they have received to hold, as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels and of tables. Then the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashing hands? He answered and said unto them, Well hath Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honoreth me with their lips, but with their hearts, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whoso curseth father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, it is Corban, that is to say, a gift by whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And ye suffer him no more to do aught for his father or his mother, making the word of God of none effect through your tradition which ye have delivered. And many such like things do ye. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that is entered into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, those are they that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he said unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him? because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the drought, purging all meats. And he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defile the man. For from within, out of the heart of the man, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile the man. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into a house, would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a, Sy a, Syro a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, for this saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. Again and again, departing from the coast of Tyre and Sidon, he came unto the Sea of Galilee through the midst of the coast of Decapolis. And they bring unto him one that was deaf, and had an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon him, and he took him aside from the multitude, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spit and touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed, and saith unto him,
sorry, I'm trying to figure out that I've heard it many times. Ephaphtha, that is, be opened. And straightway his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spake plain. And he charged them that should tell, and he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much the more a great deal they published it, and were beyond measure astonished, saying, He hath done all things well, he maketh both the deaf to hear, and the dumb to speak. End of chapter 7, and we will return for chapter 8, I think.